Hello and welcome my Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon in Leo to your full moon in Aquarius, July into August 2022. I'm your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. They're my initials. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998, 24 years in service, and still ticking, author of Words of Grace from a professional uh, witch available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box, and there's a free preview if you want to go check it out. And of course, as I've probably mentioned a couple of times before, I'm a creator on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle, the most loving, wise, empowered career move I've made to date in my estimation, but what do I know? Uh, we got humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, gods, goddesses over there, subscription tiers, uh, serving pretty much every day, a cup of coffee, bathrobe from the laptop and the couch, my hair doing what it's going to do, talking about the day's lunar astrology, usually that's the dominant, of course there's other stuff going on, Mercury retrograde and all that and uh, uh, chatting about the magical and spiritual practice applications uh, therein with the, the moon sign stuff. And we always end with a little prayer and a little blessing, as well as they're getting exclusive content, they're getting early content before everybody else sees it. So uh, I'm loving it over there. And if you are an artist, I cannot recommend it enough. You have so much creativity and still within community guidelines. So, uh, you know, if you want more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more mal, come Patreon on Patreon because I'm the Archangel Alliance, Mark Angelo Alliance, but you can call me Mal. It's a hell of a lot easier to remember. That being said, if you are new to the channel, uh, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline. Therefore, not a timeless read, a timed read, but I have found them helpful going back and looking at challenging periods or wonderful periods and checking the readings and seeing things that I did not see before. Just saying, there's a playlist at the end, card and screen, whatever. <laughs> Link in the description box, blah, blah, blah. Um, these five decks also represent the five magical elements. Uh, fire, earth, air, water, spirit, to help fine-tune your manifestational process, your spell work, your visualization, your materialization, your art of spiritual co-creation, whatever you want to call it, uh, to plant a seed at the new and wax it uh, to full. And I do feel like the new moon reads and the, the full moon reads that I do, the waxing and the waning, the five and the seven card draws are the most important things that I'm serving uh, on this channel because it gives you navigational guidance and grace on the ground for a specific timeline. Just saying. Right, planting the seed and then weeding the garden. Uh, so it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs for more insight into a seed planted uh, to watch it grow this new moon in uh, Leo, Thursday, July 28th, 1.55 p.m. And it's a, I can feel it's a powerful day because you've got that fifth house pleasure fixed fire Leo new moon, sun conjunct moon within five degrees of each other on a Thursday, the day of joy and joviality and expansion, uh, all that Jupiter energy Zeus, right? <clears throat> That's, well, Skyfather, you don't, you don't have to go there, but a great day for money. I mean, I've been casting for cold hard cash on, on Thursdays, waxing anything, uh, moon or otherwise, for decades, so I uh, seem to be doing okay, so plant that seed and then watch it grow to the full moon in your full moon of the year in Aquarius, Thursday, August 11th, 9.36 p.m. I am in New York, so those times are Eastern. So both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. I will do the best that I can. Now, I promise you I'm going to do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help my f uh, my f my fav one of my favorite signs, sort of great friends, my aquariums, my aqualungs, um, so that you can make more wise, loving, empowered decisions and manifest your heart's desire. The element of fire, the first card down, which is part of a divine plan, and we did not choose our own heart's desires. Believe me, I would choose other heart's desires. <laughs> but the soul said, yeah, no, that'll be a challenge. Let's do that one, right? So let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's have some fun with this if possible. Because these are this is my favorite series to do. Still point. 
let's do this as I call uh, to uh, the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Aquarian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, please. What is uh, the spell fragment, the clue, the tip, the hint to help them hone <coughs> and refine their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire to plant the seed and move and grow towards full this to their full moon? June, July, uh, July, August 2022. This is a big one, guys. Trust. Trust is so easily lost, right? Trust in false hopes. You watch some of the magic I've done on this channel, uh, the hope, the home of hope spell, and the torch of trust spell. Yeah, I mean, we've all had wounds of trust, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, lifetime after lifetime. Clearing it all now, apparently. So here's the spell fragment. I am safe. I am secure in love. I trust my faith endures. So it's it's um, joining faith and trust, which are not exactly the same thing. Uh, to me, faith is more of a noun. Like you have faith, you don't do faith. Maybe, but faith without actions, blah blah blah. But trust, uh, I I think is is similar, right? Trust feels more like a verb, and yet somebody. Um, can lose your trust. So it's a tricky thing. And trust in who? Trust in what? It's a general read. We're going to keep going. But in love, I trust. That does not necessarily have to mean the human conditional facsimile of love. <laughs> False love, if you want, versus uh, true love. Conditional, toxic, or, you know, healthily boundaried. Healthy. Uh, 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 did I say healthy twice? Yeah, because it, it needs to be said, right? That kind of love. And maybe, what if it's love of the divine, or as I like to call it, pardon the gender, love of God as noun and verb. But if you think of God as like a species or level of consciousness, it's a little bit easier. Mm. Let's keep going. Let's uh, ground that a little bit for you. The Element of Earth. We're using the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. If you have the stone indicated and want to use it in your manifestational practice, rock on. <laughs> rock on. So you know I have spirit guides. Um... But really, it's what's written uh, in the Oracle Little Bookie book there that I think brings some more precision and maybe some more specificity to a general read. Clear Quartz does everything. You can grab a piece of jewelry, anything you want, just a little touchstone to, well, the fuel to feed the fire, uh, to ground and manifest your heart's desire. Let's ask Archangel Ariel. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. Still point. My beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, please. Uh, uh, Archangel of Nature, Archangel of Wealth, Archangel of Lions, which I am apparently named after. Uh, one card in clarity, please, for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Watching this video, receiving this reading. What is their crystal oracle message, um, the earth that fuels the fire uh, and helps ground and manifest the heart's desire that they are going to need trust to pull off. Whether or not, you know, that their heart's desire is to have something trustworthy, which I can get that, uh, but maybe it's that they're going to need to wax their faith, wax their trust, and for them to find those definitions for themselves that feel right. Because faith and trust are tricky, tricky, tricky. Always have been, though. Right? Trust your gut. Right? Trust the gods. Trust your grace. Yeah, trust your guides. Please, so what's their element of earth? This uh, new in Leo to their full in Aquarius. Turquoise, mon amour, turquoise. Oh, I do love some turquoise. And don't I just have some? Now look, getting ethically sourced uh, turquoise is a tricky sticky nowadays, certainly. Uh, but these were given to me as gifts years ago. I've got the wave of Poseidon up there and another ring of Hades up there. My my each, uh, each piece of jewelry I own pretty much is connected to uh, a higher power, a touchstone. So I said, you can just use a piece of jewelry. Uh, but even if you don't have access to turquoise, uh, anything will work. Like I said, clear quartz. But this is definitely a, a throat chakra spell here. Choices and uh, spell. Stone. 
pardon me. It's been a busy day. I'm getting ready to move my home, looks like this year instead of next year. So this is a wonderful shift in consciousness away from that. Tiger's iron, tiger's eye, tumble stones, turquoise. Uh, speaking one's truth, clear communication and purification, because when you speak your truth <laughs> clearly now, truth without compassion is brutality. And I'm going to say I've dated enough aquariums out there to know that you all can kind of leave out the compassionate part sometimes, because you see the big picture, right? You're up in the satellites, right? You're ruled by Uranus that way. <laughs> I will never give up that joke. Uh, uh, but, you know, to, to do it in a way that does purify uh, is certainly an interesting thing when it comes to trust. So speaking one's truth, clear communication and purification. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. I've <laughs> never known any of you not to be. A situation that is causing you concern can easily be resolved by simply expressing how you feel. Like, I don't trust you. <laughs> right? Just right in the third eye. Little uh, 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 Aquarius dart right in the third eye, right in the Ajna. Uh, you will not hurt or upset anyone by speaking your truth. In fact, speaking your truth has the opposite effect to what you think. By communicating your feelings and preferences clearly and honestly, all concerned will be relieved. Now, someone else got this one. I'm not looking at it right now. One of the other readings got turquoise. I just don't think turquoise. I just don't think I put it in the title like I am now in all of these. Uh, at present, others are either confused because they sense that all is not the way you are purporting it to be. Uh, this magical turquoise crystal will help you ease any fear you have regarding clear and true communication uh, with either yourself or others. And I gotta say, very, very powerful in terms of trust. Like, if shit seems cloudy with a chance of uh, faux meatballs, right? Then maybe there is a saying of saying, look, things are not clear. Things are not clear. This is definitely a waxing of clarity through clearing the air and, of course, a building of trust, particularly once you learn to trust that you can speak the truth and clearly with healthy boundaries and in a compassionate way, right? Without compromising the truth of who you are, which is the rebel, is very much Aquarius. That's why no two of you are alike, but guess what? No two Virgos are alike either. You know why? Because we're the element of sand, mutable earth. No two grains of us alike, but Aquarians, I love you. Freaks of the Zodiac. Let's look at your element, shall we? The element of air. The healing with the angels. Uh, Oracle. Two ways to interpret these cards. I find both helpful, at least in my own readings and with my clients. Number one is the words written on the card, element of air, thought. Think about it. Look into the word. I still say finding the original origins of words, like where they came from and stuff, often gives little synchronistic clues, tips, and hints that can make a general reading really specific. It's happened to me a bunch of times. That's why I'm saying it. Uh, as well as these are healing angels uh, that cannot, will not, uh, violate your boundaries. you got to call them in. So prayer, meditation, even help will do, but do you want it to get that far? Yeah? So let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh boy, here we go. Still point. As I call to the angels and archangels of air, the sign of Aquarius powers of the east, the Raphaelites, uh, the angels of healing, wisdom, and knowledge, please. Oh, great archangels of data and information. Please, one card in clarity for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and thank goodness you all have senses of humor. Uh, what is the element of air to stoke the fire uh, of trust in their heart's desire? Maybe that's it, just trusting your own heart's desire uh, with that turquoise there to ground it into physical form by them speaking their truth, clear and open communication, and that purification that comes along with it. Maybe even purifying their own energy field, getting some things off their chest. Well, what is the element of air then? For them to think about, read about, whatever, as well as the healing angels waiting in the wings. 
with their wings, uh, fully spread and ready to swoop in at the call of the Aquarium, particularly because it's this new moon in Leo to their full moon in Aquarius, July, August 2022. <gasps> Truth and integrity. <laughs> Truth and integrity is just what I said. Right? You do not have to compromise the truth who you are to speak your truth. It's it's but it's a tricky gnosis. I love that. Uh, it is it is a tri tricky knowing. It's a tricky process. Nobody nails that perfectly every time. Except I'm going to say the Dalai Lama. Truth without compassion is brutality. That's from the the Dalai Lama. And you know I was raised by a teacher and a lawyer, and I love my parents now, but they raised a salty sharp one here. And now <laughs> we all really appreciate it. We watch what's we do in the shadows. We on the phone texting back and forth the whole time. This just right up our alley, right? A sense of humor, good solid middle brow, right? <laughs> like toilet humor with really good vocabularies, right? So, you know, call what would the healing angels of truth and integrity do in terms of trust? Just contemplate that. What would the, what would their function be? And just come up with as many different interpretations of that question. Just don't answer it with one word, Carolyn Mace would say. Just like, don't you give me one word, right? Really go into it. If they're not really questions, they're invocations. Eh. Eh. Okay, let's move on. Because if there are trust issues here, truth and integrity, I mean, if someone's in their full integrity, like a, like a hot boiled egg that hasn't been cracked yet, right? It's just completely right? like virgin egg in its fullness, like structural integrity. And coming from their place of truth, you being that in particular, your trust in your own soul, your own higher self is just getting it stronger and stronger. And that's worth the price of admission. So, the element of water, whispers of love oracle, the voices of the higher selves of all involved. So, there are other people involved here. They are being taken into consideration. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm. Still point. As I call to the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra, and above, what is the whisper of love for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video and receiving this reading, the element of water, the energy in motion that we experience as divine beings and eternal souls on heroes' journeys in human bodies as emotion that we think we are our emotions and we're not, and we think what we're feeling only we're feeling and we're not. So please, uh, what is their element of water, the juice to the spell, the heart part, to put their love into it so they can manifest that trust with clear, honest communication and purification and truth and integrity, angels called in and helping this uh, new to their fall, July, August, 2022. Show simple acts of kindness. There you go. Just be kind. And scream everything else in your car. <laughs> Vent. That's more of a waning moon read, huh? Uh, show uh, simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. But if you're doing it from a place of truth and integrity, then why not? You know, it's instead of the backhanded compliment, you know, the gift with a hook in it, to just be like, no, here, here. You know, um, hold doors open for people. What is it like to have a door slammed in your face, right? Reverse that. What is it like when you, when somebody holds a door open for you, you hold a door open for somebody else? It is a form of kindness magic. And kindness in terms of the root chakra, sacred truth, all is one. There's only one kind. <laughs> right, so show simple acts of kindness. Energizes you and the other people involved. And you can trust in that. You can trust that acts of kindness. <laughs> well, no good deed goes unpunished. But when you're working with the grace of kindness, which is in my book, Words of Grace, by the way, just saying. The companion grace of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the root chakra grace of reverence. Reverence and kindness. Reverence for the unity of all life. This might pop you up into something that is at the same time very, very grounded in terms of the truth and the authenticity of your spirit, your soul, while on a hero's journey in a human body here, trying to figure out what to trust. And I would recommend the Torch of Trust spell that I did for Capricorn uh, New Moon, which was, what, it was the last new moon, the Torch of Trust, I'm using it every day. Anyway.
Uh, uh, last card down, the Matt Con Healing Mantra deck, a little mantra to help you along. So you get a piece of turquoise or something, so soda light will do, and it's probably less expensive. Uh, any third chakra stone, clear quartz, like I said, anything. Cast the trust spell, calling in the uh, healing angels of truth and integrity with the intention, like even the prayer, the magic itself can be a, ra a, a simple act of kindness to yourself and to others. Well, this is the mantra that will charge it, uh, bring it all together. This, the, the, I guess you'd say the current that flows through the fire, the earth, the air, and the water. Return, 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 return. Uh, and do a little bit of every day with that little piece of turquoise, and uh, I think you'll build trust over a two-week period. Please take a nice deep breath. Do we have feline shenanigans going on? Just checking. <laughs> bizarre. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the ascended masters of truth and integrity, because you all kind of are, uh, please, one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra for the Aquarius Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. The card of spirit, the healing mantra to charge all of this, something to help them heal, to wax uh, their heart's desire of trust with clear, honest communication and purifying, clearing the air, and clearing it up for a lot of people here with truth and integrity and a simple act of kindness. And as the turquoise card uh, bookie book thing said, it's like it's going to bring relief to people. It's actually going to help. So uh, please, how do they charge? charge it. What's the perfect healing mantra? Knock it out of the park. Their Aquarian socks off. Although we should do that for Pisces as well. Uh, this their uh, the new moon in Leo to their full moon in Aquarius. Sharing shame. Oh, this is going to be big. Now, I think Virgo got this too. Who got this? Libra got this. Again, a repetition of mantra in a like element, right? Where are you? I just saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharing shame. It happens a lot uh, where the earth signs, etc., you know, in, will, will show up with the same mantra or similar stuff. So, look, it's not a womp womp card. This is about vulnerability. This is about communicating uh, truth uh, in a safe space, right? I'll read it from the bookie book. Now, the mantra itself is, uh, when I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. So, it's one thing to not act out of fear. It's another to say to someone, I was really terrified of telling you this, but now I realize I have to. And I hope you will take it well, but this is authentic about who I am, and I want to do this in the kindest way possible. Right? Now, you may not do that to everybody. <laughs> Step on somebody's toes in Starbucks. Oh, you know, don't you do? Oh, I'm so sorry. Right? That's that's fine. That's not what this is. Uh, this is about rebuilding trust within yourself. So, let me read to you uh, a little bit uh, of well, uh, what he says. Matt Con, his YouTube channel. Check it out. All for Matt Con, all for love, and Belzar, all for love. Hey, Belzy. He's like a he's like a throw pillow that purrs. He's softest kitty cat ever. Uh, sharing shame. When I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. Well, what would that be? In your integrity, in your truth, a level of acceptance. It's the right of confession, if you want to go there, which is shared by many traditions throughout time. Uh, when shame is shared, cycles of victimhood are permitted to heal as you find the courage to speak your truth. Because sometimes, well, speaking here it is, speaking your truth. This is practically a triple whammy read. Um, to preface it, to, to say to somebody, this may have nothing to do with you, but I'm triggered as fuck. I know, you may not talk about that as an Aquarian, you guys tend to be a little distant, but you can come at it from a very kind place of at least acknowledging to yourself there's more going on here than just this trigger, right? Uh, since abuse and neglect can only be perpetuated in silence, it is your willingness to step forward and share your life story that helps transform each wound and inspire others to be set free. See what I'm saying? As you do this, you're helping everybody else on planet Earth do this, but it's your decision. 
that's the power to speak the truth or not, right? And to do it in a kind way or not. There are a lot of moving pieces, but with the healing angels of truth and integrity, they'll get you what you need. Sometimes they'll just drop a book on you and say, here, read this. And then there's the piece of the puzzle. At least that's my experience. Um, once your shame is shared, you are able to honor yourself with the heightened encouragement, worthiness, and validation that you deserve to receive. Because... Because what if it's just part of what we came here to do, to, rather than submerge the truth and hold it down, to speak the truth, to let our our truth, our light, because symbolically they're the same thing, truth and light, right? You, you see the light, you see the truth. What if that's what we came in to do in this time? You know, what if that's part of your heart's desire so that you can really illuminate what to trust and what not to trust, at least in your own life, life stream, timeline, and then affecting... Uh, all of humanity as a result. This mantra is ideal for revisiting past traumas, expressing your inner child, and finding self-acceptance. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot to unpack, but you're an Aquarian. You'll think about it, right? Just ask the angels of truth and integrity for help. So, here's what we're going to do, my aqualungs, my aquariums. Uh, we're going to do a blessimation, a word created by one of my patrons, Kimberly, on Patreon. Love ha for that one. It's a blessing and a summation. Um, and we do them for real. We've got the high-tech hardware of the Torch of Archangel Ariel. And uh, we're in McCords of Blessing, so we're going to do them for real, but then we will chit-chat a little bit afterwards if you want to hang around to the very end, because uh, I need to release the Aquarians and get ready for the Pisces read, and I find the best way to do that is just to let it all <laughs> come out at the end, which is often humorous. Let's see. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. as I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aquarian collective. There we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Watching this video, receiving this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need, this new moon in Leo to their full moon in Aquarius, that they may find the way to share shame, because when they share their deepest pain, they give themselves permission to be, which allows a lot of things to shift and move, uh, and as a result, to show simple acts of kindness and to re-energize themselves, to even do that for themselves, but certainly to preface things with, I'm doing the best that I can here, please be kind, and I will do the same, but certainly calling in the healing angels of truth and integrity, that they can speak their truth with the integrity of their eternal soul and their uh, uh, I I immortal divinity, the core of who we are, the love that we truly are, and come from that place to the best of their ability, but being authentic, speaking their truth, open, clear communication that purifies themselves in this and the air, and of course that re-energizes them as a result so that they can wax the trust, so they can plant that seed of trust, that they can find what... <laughs> the torch of trust now combust let all false hopes now fall to dust right so that there is only that which is truly trustworthy and maybe it's trust in the process and maybe it's trust in their own guidance and grace but they are safe they are secure in love they trust their faith endures for the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it. So let it be done. So let it be. And so it is. And that's a practically flawless. <laughs> chonka, 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 five chunk puzzle piece puzzle. Uh, did you like it? Then by all means, hit the thumbs up help the algorithm show it to other aquariums because this is really powerful and beauty even though i was sharing shame but you get it right it's totally connected and if you want more of me on youtube you know just subscribe oh head bonkies on my feet uh tickle <laughs> being tickled under the table by a kitty cat
uh, yeah, yeah, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be moving my home. So I'm going to put these out when they're ready because I absolutely refuse to compromise my integrity and my production value for numbers anymore. No, 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 no. Why? Because I have the pure joy and creativity over on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle. It's one of the best things I've ever done. It's probably not the best thing I'll ever do because, you know, learning curve, uh, but allowing myself to really cut loose there within community guidelines. It ain't only fans, uh, but certainly uh, worthy of a checkout if you want the deeper magic miracles and mysticism of Mark Angelo, Lion's Mal for short, etc., etc., then come Patreon on Patreon, because you'll all find out eventually I actually am the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, uh, but for now, just call me Mal. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a video in the description box. Booking a reading with Mal explains everything beginning, middle, and end. How much I charge, how and when I travel, all of that, especially uh, uh, how to prepare yourself and how to cool down after. So go check it out. It explains it all for you, just like Clarissa. Uh, and thank you so much. Really, it's your full moon. Have at it. When the moon rides at her peak, then ye heart's desire seek. So find one that you can trust in process. I love you. Good luck. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.